Okay, we're gonna learn how to make a graph using Google Sheets, and I will tell you it's a little tricky on an iPad, so you may wanna try to borrow a PC or a Mac in your house if you can. Um, I'm doing it on a Mac right now. Um, if you have an issue, let me know, but your graphing, your data will always go on a Google Sheet. So one of the first things we do is we title it. So um, make sure you uh, have a title just so you can remember where you put it. Um, one of the things we have to look at is what are we trying to graph? And in this lab, we are going to graph from 0 to 1 meters. We're going to graph from 1 to 2 meters. And then we're going to graph from 2 to 3. So the data that we're going to include, we're going to put below that. So I'm going to make up some numbers right now. Obviously, you're going to use your own. But let's say from 0 to 1, when we uh, figured out our, our average speed, which was our total distance divided by our total time, that was right underneath that chart that you guys made. Let's say it was 1.55. Now, notice I did not put a label there. We will work on that later. Then from 1 to 2, let's pretend that it was 0.98 meters per second. And notice I did not use a label that is going to be important very, very soon because if you put numbers in there, it's an algorithm and it won't understand. Let's say my third average speed, uh, average speed in meters per second was 0.48. Okay. Notice I did not put labels on the second row and that these correlate to each other. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and highlight this like I did. So I held down my mouse and I drug it across here to these three spots. Then you're going to go up here where it says insert. So you will insert a chart. You'll click that like I just did. Then all of a sudden this pops up. Now I don't want a pie chart. A pie chart is not the way to do this. So let's do a bar graph, okay, where it says column chart right here. I'm going to click on this. So right away it automatically graphed that and it also put my label. This is um, important that you look at the bottom and that you labeled this correctly because once you make the graph you um, can't really edit it as well when you copy and paste it eventually into your doc which will also happen. So take a look at your graph right away. One of the first things you should notice is okay did my speed decrease and yes it did. You'll also notice we don't have a title and we need a title. We also don't have the x and the y axis labeled. The y is this one. I always think of a y reaching up to the sky and then the x is across the bottom, okay? So we talk about labeling our variables. So this is gonna be, if we hit customize over here, one of the ways that we can manipulate and change things and make sure we have what we need. So first of all, we need to have some titles. So let's talk about the chart title. Right here, I wanna be descriptive. I don't wanna say toy car lab. So what am I looking at? Well, I'm looking at the change in average speed of a toy, oops, toy car at various meter marks. That to me sounds like a pretty descriptive title. Now, be careful. You want to make sure everything looks good and it's spelled correctly. It automatically put it in here for me as I was typing it. Okay, so to me that looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is the horizontal. Now, I wish they would call it the x-axis, but they don't. Here, is the horizontal down here. This is the x-axis. So I would just title this meter marks because, so my dog is barking, yay, because I already have the meters labeled right there, okay? So that looks good to me. Now I'm going to go back in here and I need to label my vertical. So this is my y-axis. Now in this case, we have to be careful that we don't say things like time. That's not time. What are we looking at? We're looking at average speed. So I'm going to write average speed. The other thing you're always careful of is what were my labels? Okay, it was meters per second. So that's important. Okay. Now, there's another piece here about the legend. The legend kind of tells us, like, for example, if it's blue and red or, you know, if I didn't label it the way that I did, the legend would help me. You always want to, in our cases, because we don't necessarily have color printers and we're not printing this out, we don't need a legend, so we're going to hit none. Okay, so go into legend, hit none, and you're good to go there. And the last thing I do is I just double check that this looks good because I'm going to now copy and paste it into my lab report. Okay, so what I do is I open up my lab report doc here, and I don't really have a doc started, right? But I'm going to pretend that I do. So I'm going to open up my doc and um, start a new one here. 
and pretend that you already have all that information in your doc, right? So you've gone all the way down to your data. It's bold, it's underlined, right? And we need to insert a graph right here. So here we go. I'm gonna put my cursor where I want it to go. I'm gonna go back into this. And now when I click on this, if I use two fingers, um, I didn't do that right, but let's try this here. Um, all right, where it says copy chart, there's these three little tabs. You can do it this way. I can copy it, and then you always want to copy it. Don't don't uh, cut it. And then over here, I have my cursor here. I can either just paste it like that, two fingers on my mouse or my MacBook, or you can um, do Control whatever um, and basically just paste it right. So when I do that, it's going to ask me, okay, do you want to paste it? link it, unlink it, whatever you want to do, just hit paste. And there's my graph. Now, if it looks a little too big, I can make it smaller, right? But it depends on, you know, the size that you want. And all of a sudden, there you go, you have a graph. Now, if you've spelled something wrong or did something wrong, unfortunately, I would just delete it, go back into your spreadsheet and fix it, and then recopy and paste it. So, like I said, it might look a little different on your iPad. There are obviously ways to figure it out. I'm just not as familiar, but this is the basics of it and how to do it on your uh, regular computer, okay? So if you have an issue, let me know, okay? So you can rewatch this video as you make your own graph. Make sure you have what you need. These are my numbers. You're gonna have your own numbers, and if you have issues along the way, let me know.